minions running around in excitement in a colorful, chaotic banana factory filled with zany machines, bouncing bananas. Kevin. Surrounded by many bananas, hey, guys, what's a minion's favorite way to travel? Stuart. Scratching his head, uh, a banana car? Bob. Giggling, no, it's a banana boat. All minions burst into laughter, rolling on the floor. Suddenly, the factory alarm blares. Factory speaker. Attention. Attention. A giant banana monster is loose in the factory. Kevin. Oh, we need to escape before we become banana pudding. The minions gather around Kevin, who is drawing a wacky escape plan on a banana peel. Kevin. Okay, listen up. We'll use the banana conveyor belt to get to the exit. Stuart. What if we get squished? Bob. Then we'll be, squish ions. They all laugh again. They hop onto the conveyor belt, which starts moving faster and faster as they zoom along. They hear a loud roar. The giant banana monster appears, slipping and sliding around the factory. Banana monster. I'm hungry for minions. The minions scream and start running in every direction. Kevin. Quick, hide behind the giant banana peels. They all dive behind enormous peels just as the monster stomps past them. Bob gets an idea. He pulls out a boombox and starts playing upbeat music. Bob. Let's give it a dance party. The minions start dancing wildly, shouting silly phrases like, Look at us. We're boogie bananas. The banana monster stops and stares in confusion. Banana monster. What are you doing? I'm trying to eat you. Stuart. You can't eat us while we're dancing. We're too, a peel ing. The monster starts to dance along, forgetting about its hunger. The minions giggle uncontrollably. Suddenly, the factory floor shakes. A trapdoor opens beneath them, and they all fall through into a hidden room filled with treasure chests. Kevin. Pointing at a chest, look. A treasure chest. They rush over and open it, revealing, bananas. Bob. Looks like we hit the banana jackpot. They all cheer and start tossing bananas in the air as they celebrate, they find a small boat made of bananas in the corner of the room. Stuart. Let's take this banana boat and sail away. They hop into the boat, which magically starts floating on a river of banana smoothie that appears out of nowhere. The banana monster bursts into the room just as they set sail. Banana monster. Hey, come back here. The minions paddle frantically. Kevin shouts. Why do minions make terrible secret agents? They all shout back. Because we can't stop giggling when we hear, banana. The monster slips on spilled smoothie and falls into the river with a splash. It starts floating downstream, still dancing along to their music. The minions sail away on their banana boat, laughing and singing. Bob. What's our favorite dessert? They chant together. Banana split, of course. As they float away into the sunset, they spot an island shaped like a giant banana. Kevin. Let's go there for our fruity getaway. On the island, they discover more bananas than they can count. They start building a huge sandcastle made of bananas. Stuart. This is going to be our best vacation ever. A seagull swoops down and steals one of their bananas. Bob. Hey. That's not yours. In retaliation, they throw some sand at it. Just as they finish their castle, they hear another roar. But this time it's not scary, it's just another group of friendly minions arriving on their own banana boats. New minion leader. We heard there was a party. Did someone bring string? Kevin laughs. To tie up some fun and keep everyone together, they all join in for an epic dance party under the setting sun with bananas everywhere. And so our minion friends learned that even when danger lurks around every corner, laughter and friendship can turn any situation into a wacky adventure. Bob say. Why did I wear sunglasses at night? Because my future is too bright with bananas. All the minions giggle and laugh uncontrollably looking forward to the next zany and wacky adventure.